Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy. In this video I will be showing you how you can dual boot Pop! OS next to Windows 10. So normally when you would install a normal Linux distribution besides Pop! OS, um, then you will just have the grub bootloader instead of the Windows bootloader and the grub bootloader will do the bootloading uh, thingy in the beginning where you can select the operating system of your choice, either being the Linux distribution or the Windows operating system. Um, but in this case, this is Pop! OS, it uses the System D boot manager and it works a little bit differently, so you'll need to make a few adjustments before you go ahead and install the operating system itself. So first thing you'll need to make sure of is you go over to the disk management and scroll down to the bottom and look at your EFI system partition. Normally, by default, it's about 100 megs in size. Uh, you'll need to increase the size of the system part of the EFI system partition. This is not something you can do from within the disk management. You'll need something like Mini Tool Partition Wizard to do that. So let's go ahead and open that up. This is their website, by the way, PartitionWizard.com. I will link the uh, this uh, I will link this URL in the video description below, so you can find that easily. Then we'll need to go over to Disk and Partition Management. So once you're in the Mini Tool Partition Wizard uh, interface, you will have to go over to the disk where the C drive, where the C partition resides on, and then select the C drive itself. And then you can move, resize this one over here. So you can at least, you will have to do with the bare minimum. So 1.6 in my case. And now you can resize this to um, you can add the size over here. I'm not going to do this, so I'm not going to do this because I already resized mine, but you get you get the point. So you just have to resize this over here. You will have to uh, lend a little bit of space from the left side of the drive by decreasing its size on the left side, and then that's the size you uh, created on the left side will be available to the EFI system partition and that way you can increase the EFI system partition. I've seen systems where there is this uh, Windows system reserve partition in between the two drives. Uh, in my case I could safely remove that uh, partition so I'm guessing that it will be the same for you. I think that it will be safe to uh, delete that. So I'm not going to do that because I already resized mine but what I, what I am going to do is I'm going to resize over here and I'm going to give Pop! OS, let's see here, um, let's give it 70 gigs of free space. So right now we have our EFI system partition, we have some free space for the operating system to reside on and yeah, I think that's, um, yeah, I think that's good. So just click apply and then just click yes and now it will ask you to restart once the pc is restarting you will see that there's a bunch of uh, stuff appearing on the screen uh, so don't worry about that and once the once mini 2 partition wizard has finished doing everything you will see uh, the partitions have been uh, adjusted so just click go ahead and click restart now and just wait for the system to reboot Okay, so the PC has rebooted. If you go over to the disk management now, you'll see that there is uh, a lot of un allocated space and also that the EFI partition has in has increased in size. So that's good, that's what we want. Uh, the next thing we want to do is of course download the um, System76 operating system. We can go that. We can go to their website, system 76 pop and just download the according um, ISO for you. So if you're running an AMD card, you download this one. If you're running an NVIDIA card, you download this one. And the next thing you want to do is, you know, once the ISO is downloaded, you download Rufus. Rufus is uh, a tool to create a bootable USB drives. And we can go ahead and open up Rufus here. Let's quickly open up Rufus. Okay, so we've opened up Rufus, then we can select our Pop! OS ISO and then just choose the, I've already created mine as you can see, but you just choose your um, USB device, your, your USB thumb drive over here and just click start and wait for the ISO to be uh, burned onto the 
USB drive. And after that, you can go ahead and reboot the system and boot onto the USB drive. So we can, um, so I can show you how to install the Pop! OS from the Pop! OS installer and start off, uh, off of there. So we are now in the Pop! OS uh, installation screen and this is the first thing you will see. So of course you select your language and you click select. You select your country or region and just click select. And click select your keyboard over here. Okay, just go ahead and select. These are all things you need to select for yourself. And right now you have the option to either clean install, which will erase your entire disk, or custom. We are of course going with custom install. And now you scroll down to the bottom, and right over here is our uh, disk. This is our C drive, and this is the EFI partition. So this is the recovery partition of Windows. This is the EFI partition we just uh, created. So we have to uh, choose to use this partition. And this will indeed be the boot partition. So you don't want to format this because this will erase the possibility to boot into Windows later on. So don't format it, just use a partition. And then the second partition over here, you can go ahead and modify partitions over here. and then create a new partition and this can be an ext4 partition you can apply that there we go close that up now this one becomes available and you can select this one as well so this will be the root partition so these are the only th two things you need uh, oh this one was deselected okay and now you can see that erase and install becomes available and right now we can go ahead and uh, install everything actually we might do something different first we will have to create a small partition too i forgot that one let's go ahead and uh, resize this one and let's give four gigs of space and then create a new volume and the file system can be Linux swap and just add that and then just apply that and we can close that up and wait for a few seconds there we go and now we have to do the process all over again so we have to select this one as the boot partition this one as the root partition and this can be our swap drive and this way we have a complete system so we have in the FI system partition we have our root partition and we have our swap partition for uh, everything like uh, hibernation so go ahead and click erase and install and right now it's partitioning the drives and we just have to wait for the entire pop os installation to complete and then we'll have to boot it from the EFI uh, boot menu. So now we can restart the PC, the Pop! OS installation is complete and we will have to restart the device but we will have to uh, manually input which uh, operating system we want to boot off because otherwise it will boot automatically into Windows. So I will show that uh, after the PC has done rebooting but first of all you have to restart the device and go into your BIOS's boot menu. So right now we can see um, a bunch of boot options. As you can see on the top, this is my this is my uh, Gigabyte UEFI BIOS. Uh, on the top there is the default one. And then there is a whole list of options you can choose from. So if you look at the bottom, you see that there is a an entry called Pop! OS. And this is uh, something that has been added. This wasn't there before, but this is because we uh, just installed Pop! OS, of course. And now we can choose between the Windows Boot Manager on the SSD, on the Samsung SSD, or the Pop! OS uh, option on the SSD. So let's go ahead and choose the Pop! OS option.
Okay, so now we have to do the setup. So we don't want to, uh, we want to choose this one. Okay, uh, it's all good for me. Let's just go ahead and skip all this. We can add that later. Let's just say we want to name this one. Um, there we go, so IT guy. Then we just set a password. Uh, this is just for testing purposes, so I don't really care about the passport right now. Okay, just click Next. And then we can start using Pop OS. Okay, perfect. So, let's see here. Everything should work. Let's open up Firefox. Alright, so if you want to go back, this works, so if you want to go back to uh, the Windows operating system, you will need to, you always will need to uh, consolidate the uh, Windows boot menu first, so you'll need to be, you need to go into the boot menu, so you need to go in the EFI boot menu first. So by default, Windows Boot Manager has been selected for me. You can always change the default boot option in your BIOS itself. But if you want to boot into Windows, this will also still work. If you just press um, the Windows Boot option, then Windows will boot up. So this is just another way uh, of managing your operating systems on your PC. You just do it straight from the EFI uh, system partition instead of having to uh, use the Grub bootloader. So yeah, if this video helped you out, guys, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.